passing by if you're new today uh, and you're passing by i hope you are happy with what you see and that you subscribe and join the family please subscribe if you have not subscribed and you've watched my videos why why yeah please join the fam okay and also click that notifications bell so you do not miss a video every time i upload and to my return soldiers i mean I love you guys. You and me, same WhatsApp group. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you guys are doing well. Hey, Madam Moose, guys, do that. Hey, Moose, guys, in China, baby. Never, baby, that. Baby has a baby hair. King, the edges. Oh, edges are laid edge. Okay, let me focus. <laughs> Let me focus, but yeah, man, I hope you guys are doing well. Like I said, um, I am happy today. We have our opening. We have our premiere of Inferno at like in Frankfurt at the Opera Frankfurt. Um, and I'm excited. So yeah, man. And after that, uh, the intendant invited us to dinner to celebrate. So, so we were celebrating, <laughs> but I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> And yeah, that's why my girl was like, I'm an. Anyway, yeah. So, and tomorrow we have another performance of it. So, yeah, I'm excited, like I just said. So, yeah. Let's get into this video, guys. Um, As you can see by the title of the video, we are talking about the challenges I have faced in my three years of living in Germany. Okay. And this is like not a shading any country type of situation i love it here i love staying here and yeah it's just like obviously life is not perfect nothing is perfect situations are not perfect you know there will be challenges and in this video i will talk about that and yeah so tune in tune 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 in let's 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 do this yeah man so the first so I'm gonna start with like the major ones and then move into like the minor ones. Ne? So the first major one, oof, the visa situation, visa, uh, residency here in Germany for me. I'm a student here, so this will vary from person to person. And like also people, this is my experience, okay? People are here for different things. These are my experiences. Okay, they will probably vary and differ from, you know, person to person. So, yeah, some people are here for studies, some are here for a job, you know, some are here for, you know, marriage, some got married and they move here. So, it's different. So, me as a student, uh, the first two years, I got two years because I was doing my master's. I got two years because of the, of the, the scholarship I was using. But after that, sis had to fend for herself. Sis had to be, you know, in the wilderness alone. Yo, 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 yo. So yeah, obviously after two years, that was it. And obviously I stayed. Aha. Wow. So after the two years, they started giving me just six months, six months. So every six months, you need to go renew. Six months, you need to go back to the foreigner's office and renew. So when you renew, you have to have all your documents, your studies, you know, your registration, you know, documents, your rent like accommodation you need to have like uh health insurance three months bank statement um yeah so that will come with like you need a lot of money like you need money to stay here what are you doing like in my last other video a few i don't know two months back I did mention like the the money situation you need money to stay here that's why they need to they need your bank statement to see if you can afford staying here what are you doing here on you you don't have money so yeah a lot of people I know it's very stress it's a very stressful time you cannot relax you know every few a few months you will be going back there and obviously yes your money situation needs to be looking good so they allow you to stay if not like you know why are you staying <laughs> that's probably them like thinking oh 
why are you staying here if you don't have money what are you trying to do what what do you want us to do for you that's probably them but like <laughs> no but like yeah so it's very difficult when you're a student because uh most students work um the um, they have like a mini job and that is you get 450 euros that's a mini job amount you get 450 and that is not enough monthly to 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 care to go on you know they no that's not enough monthly so most yeah like it's really it's really tough it's really tough so most people i don't know have to like make a plan you know i don't know cut whatever sell a liver i don't know do something but most people i think can afford to stay here because like their parents um are like you know financing them ha <laughs> me no 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 i'm here no one's fan well i have bursaries now but like no i no there's no family that's gonna stay here is like you know a good hundred and fifty thousand rands go have go be a student no so yes uh no that's not happening so yeah it's really difficult and also uh, the foreigners office is a really stressful place to be at every few months i don't think i don't know anyone that's happy to always go there okay i'm a student and i'm a foreigner here international student i know other international students man. that place that place yo is the bottom it's the ghetto okay no one likes going there oh my goodness no one from the people i know likes to go there it's really stressful and the waiting periods even now with covid things are just crazy okay they're just not cute so yeah no one likes to go there like i just said you it just can kind of reminds you that yeah no you are a foreigner here this is not your home so yeah if you're married here from South Africa, I think from other countries, you apply for the family reunification visa and you get three years when you get here and then so on three years until you get like citizenship. You can apply for it, you know, you know, it's like after many years, it okay, cannot many, but like, yeah, it's not just, you don't just get it. So that is like a big, 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 big challenge for me definitely and so the second one i would say <sighs> is family like loneliness um i did speak about it briefly in my not briefly i spoke about it but i looked like mostly into like the social 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 part of it but this is just like me being lonely missing home missing family family yes yeah that one day yeah i know you can feel you know there's just something there's just something that's just there's a hole that nothing can fill that's 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 it that's it it's really difficult uh to be so far away from family when things you know happen when there's funerals you cannot just go because i mean finances i mean no Yo. so it's really difficult and sometimes i'm not saying i don't like I, I love being here okay but sometimes you just really want your family you just want your mom okay you just want to hug her and kiss her and just chill with her and just like you know be home you know i just want to annoy my little brother oh no he's the one that annoys me but i still love him but you know i just want to be around family and stuff and that's just not possible it's really difficult like you know when they when the going gets tough and i'm sick here <laughs> hey guys hey, it's not cute yo it's not cute yo 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 because i mean i'm alone i'm alone I'm alone and I know I can feel it. You know, when things, you know, when I'm, I'm sick and I can't do this, or maybe I'm at the, like, I need to be at the hospital. Just examples. There's no someone that's gonna say, you know, let's go see Ibeleng. Uh, you know, let's take her, whatever. Yes, friends will be there. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it would be nice to have family. I understand people that say they cannot not 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 move away from home or whatever you know they they no i understand i really understand that's what they that's what they feel like those are their preferences that's what they you know 
that's what they decide and they they choose to do i am here because i'm out here you know chasing the dream it's also good but like it's it's not easy so yeah that's that's also a big one oh man anyway the third one is oh the bureaucracy here omg is a lot the system i i mean i'm here as a student man imagine someone who's here as as as, as an employed person imagine like there's just a lot of admin that like hey the rules everything the system it just needs to go the way it needs to go and there were so many things that i also just don't get like and also the language is not helping language is not helping so i think it's good to have someone that's always there to help you with like certain things i mean i'm a student but i also work i do gigs and 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 so yeah man like it's just a lot it's overwhelming sometimes i have gotten myself into trouble because i did not know how to what to do how to go about it so yeah there were a few things where i was like okay that's probably not how things were supposed to be done here okay with regards to this and this admin part of it hey hey so it's tricky it's really tricky it's overwhelming they're strict here they follow every little rule don't even do it just so yeah that one yeah 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 yeah, yeah. but it's okay we here we are here okay yes and so the fourth one i would say um this one is weird okay this really is like weird ne? and it's it's oh, it's staring guys the people here stare it's the stairs yo i don't get it you know hey the people here will stare at you and i don't think it's a black thing it's not a black person thing no because i know people that are not black that are foreign also that are not from germany that also get stared at so it's not because no sis is black no wow it's a lot you know i i don't understand why people stare it's really uncomfortable um it's just really weird it makes you feel weird i don't understand and it's it's mostly like the older people okay it's really the old people i've never like the younger people no i've never experienced it with like younger people the middle aged as well no like middle age no it's always the magogos and the makulus those are the ones that will stare you down. Like, they will look at you. The other day, I'm in the tram, minding my own business, standing there, you know, ready to exit the train. I guess this lady was just looking at me. Old woman looking at me. She was with her husband. Looking, looking. Né? And then, I'm an, I just check myself. I'm like, okay, is there something wrong with me? I check if it's my zip down or something. It's just like, is it, what's happening? And so she she talks to her husband and the husband stares at me as well. Now they both stare. I was like, and then Marami, I stay back. I'm like. I stay back. Because I'm like, what is wrong? Like, talk to me. Like, I don't know. This is just weird. I don't get it and it happens okay it, does, it has not happened once twice it has happened many times where people will just like even turn you know as you go keep on and if you keep on looking back you'll see that they're still looking at you i don't get it i don't get it the other time i was talking to someone who's german and they were like no man like the old people here you know are just kind of like this all they know is their lives and and you know their family and everything is just like this they're just not used to see different people and i was like in 2021 how 2021 never guys maybe like years back maybe many years back i would understand but like in 2021 where there's like so many people in this world how so many different people in this world how so yeah i don't i don't understand it maybe one day if i meet if i meet someone who's like old 
you know, I'll, I'll ask him or her, like, you know, I'll just ask, what is the deal? What's happening? Like, maybe just, you know, talk to me, you know? So, yeah, I don't, I don't understand that. Anyway, yeah, yeah, it happens. So, yeah. And so, the next one, which is the fifth one, uh, this one is like minor. This one is minor. It's not really, it, we, it's fine. But it's hair, hair, hair. I hear you are alone. You are like you are like this. Every man for himself and God for us all. Here with this because look, there are like black salons. There are there are you know owned by Nigerians. You know you know African salons. But wow, if you like if you are someone like me that likes like braids and stuff. You're gonna just like, you know, paying, you're gonna get rid of an arm and a leg to pay for that. It's really expensive. It's just like, what the actual hell is happening? Why is it so expensive? Like, I would probably not pay like 150, 200 euros to, to, to do braids. No, no, boo. That is like grocery money for like a month. Three weeks a month. That's, that's even, that's like, ah. No, guys, it's really expensive, and yeah, guys, and I mean, the people here do not understand our, our hair, so yeah, probably, I think they might understand, like, curly hair, like, in South Africa, it's like the colored people's hair, They're quite curly, soft, nice, mm -mm. I have that coarse hair, okay, that coarse, and it, mine is even considered soft, it is like 4C, where you just, like, you can't get a, a comb through, you just, yeah, 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 so like the hair situation, no, I have learned to do my own hair. I need to, you know, I knew how to do it, but now I'm like on another level because, you know, I have to do it. I have to do it. No one's going to do it for me. So, you know, and another thing concerning hair, um, ish, people, people love touching hair. Don't do it. Don't touch people's don't touch people's hair. Don't touch any anything on people's bodies. Because that has happened to me. I was at the doctor's the other day. And then this lady was like, she's old. <laughs> it's the old people, man. She was like, is this real hair? I had braids on. Is this real hair? And I was like, yeah, it is. It's like my go-to answer every time. I'm like, yeah 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 so i was just like yeah she was like oh wow it's so beautiful and i'm like sis it's corona boo like don't touch don't do it yeah wow i was just like I, okay yeah, i mean don't do it guys i know in south africa it does happen also dude just don't don't okay unless if they ask you to but just don't do it and so yeah, another one with hair, I think people, like, I always get this, I get this all the time because I change, like, my hair a lot. The, <laughs> the people here always think I went to the salon, They're like, yeah, you know, did you, you went to the salon, oh my goodness, your hair looks so nice because I changed it. Like, I mean, this is a wig, you put it on, you put it on, on, off, you know, so I have it like this today, tomorrow I have, like, my short afro, eh, did you cut your hair? You cut your hair. Wow, why did you cut your hair? And I'm like, uh, no, I didn't cut my hair. You look so beautiful, though. The next day, I come with a wig, a different one. <gasps> did your hair grow? Your hair grew. I, I don't understand. How did my how could my hair grow, like, overnight like this? Like, how is that even a possibility? How That's not, that's, that doesn't happen. <laughs> Oh, I can. So I'm always laughing, but some people I just tell them, bro, this is like a wig. This is a wig, bro. Like on, off. I get home, get uh, go out, you know. So yeah, that's it about hair. Ah, oh, people here are interesting. Wow, <laughs> funny. And the last one I'd, I'd say is um, makeup. Sometimes it happens that. Uh, it's difficult to get makeup. I always get like shades that are way dark, shades that are way lighter. So in the middle there, it's always like, ish, 
difficult difficult but anyway yeah that's not a major one i do get it sometimes you know it's not really like oh no 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 there's nothing no i do get it sometimes but yeah man that's it and the other ones you guys know already of like the languages <laughs> the language not languages the language you guys know of already i've spoken about this and yeah making friends also i've spoken about this I've spoken about basically everything so yeah man thank you so much for watching uh please share the video please like the video um please leave a comment below if you have if you did like it and also just like yeah man yeah talk to me talk to me i like uh you know i love engaging with you guys and yeah also please subscribe if you have not and yeah i will see you guys on the, my next upload ciao guys ciao ciao <laughs>